Here's the situation. You have two lists to match together, but neither has a unique identifier in a single column. What you need is a way to create a unique identifier so a VLOOKUP would work. So let's take a look at this example. Here's my list, first list. It has everything I need here except for it's missing one piece. And that one piece is going to come from a different list. Now this list has the cost, which I need, but it doesn't have these other two pieces of information, the description and the material. But I need it all together to make a complete list. So i got to pull over cost from list 2. Now at first glance I think I'm going to use a VLOOKUP, but as I look at my products here, I notice that I have repeating product numbers. Those two are the same and these two are the same. And then I notice I also have repeating codes here. So a simple VLOOKUP isn't going to work because there's nothing unique in a single column here. But this is unique going all the way across. There's only one, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, hammer, wood. So that whole thing is unique. Now what's common to both lists is this product number, the product code, product number, and the product code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a unique identifier on list 2 because this is where I'm going to pull from. I am going to use a VLOOKUP and this is going to be my VLOOKUP range. So the unique identifier I create needs to be in the first column. And to do that I'm going to simply use my favorite formula, concatenate, which means to join. And I'm going to join whatever's in B2 onto whatever's in C2. And there we go. I just made a unique identifier. That easy. I like easy. Easy is simple. Easy is fast. And time is money. So now I can use a VLOOKUP. I concatenate it on the other page to make the unique identifier and that's what we're looking for so I have to do the same concatenation over here. This onto this. That's what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to look for that in this range. I'm going to remember that column 4 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, is my column of interest for the VLOOKUP. But first what I'm going to do is highlight this hit F4 to lock it so it doesn't move, then go comma, then enter the column of interest, zero for an exact match, and there we go. Pull it all the way down, and I have successfully brought over that piece of information from list 2 to, le to list 1 to make a complete list with uh, data that originally had no unique identifier in a single column. Let me show you what I did here. This is the formula that I used on sheet 2 in column 1 to create the unique identifier on the two common pieces that are on both lists. And then I had to use that same formula in the VLOOKUP on this sheet to pull it over. And that is a way to solve this need.